You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop and it's time for the next Happy Meal Magic Happy Meal Snack Maker. It is the French Fry Maker and it does not use real potatoes, it uses bread. These uh, kits and sets were not meant to use food that needed to be cooked. So kids had stuff around the house. This is cinnamon and sugar and bread and other toppings that you can get that don't need to be cooked and you can just experiment and have fun. They provide a certain amount of recipes, but you could also just do whatever you liked. And as you can see, this original set came in a big box with the drink fountain and the hamburger maker, which will be in another video. So right now we're going to focus in on the French fry maker. So when I come back, I will... Uh, show you a little bit more about the machine and get out the first round of ingredients, show you the recipe book, and we'll get started. Well, here we go. My ingredients are all ready. Let me just go over the machine a little bit and all the pieces. Now, um, you're spinning this, turning this handle, and that's bringing the bread down, and the bread comes out here uh, sliced, but let me show you the inside. Now, that's why you can't put potatoes in here. It's just too compact. It would just mush it, so the bread just kind of nicely goes through there, and then you have your two french fry containers that go here and then I would call this the salt because you're salting your french fries but really there's sugar and cinnamon in there so if I call it salt it's not really salt and then there's the big M and this is your bread cutter so this is going to be used to cut the bread and they did have a couple trays and the instructions so let's check out the instructions alright so here is the recipe book uh, let's just go through it real quick in case someone has the machine and doesn't have the booklet it's how to clean it how to take it apart how to what you know what to wash where to put the labels which I have all on there now and then making them and how to do that so you're cutting the bread with the cutter and just pushing it through the unit and you just fold them and put them in the cup and then sprinkle your toppings and then there were Happy Meal boxes in the bigger set, but those will come out later. I'll show them in another video. And then let's just see what was here. Okay, all the sets. And then here are the recipes. So I'm going to do three today. I'm going to do the main recipe. And I think I'm going to do this one with powdered cheese. And then either a drink mix. Well, we'll see. Let's just start with the first one. And then we'll get started on making the sugar and cinnamon part. Time to start recipe number one. And the first step then is to get our salt ready. And yes, I know it's not salt, but we're pretending. So I'm gonna get my salt container and we're gonna fill it with sugar, okay? And it was two, okay, let me get to that recipe. Two teaspoons, okay, of sugar. Oh, grab the one, I grabbed tablespoon by accident. Two teaspoons of sugar, one, and I wanted to show you, someone asked about these measures, it's so that if you pre-measure your ingredients, you can set it right down on the counter and it keeps it level and holds it there for you. There's two, and then one teaspoon of cinnamon, all right, and then I'm going to shake it up. I'll just put my hands over the holes, give it a shake, and the next thing is the bread. So now I'll show you inside. See, really nice. Okay, bread, bread time. We're using Wonder White. Now if you wanna use wheat, any kind of bread, remember, it's whatever you want. Well, let's get in here, let's move these out of the way, let's move our tray, let's get our machine in. So the first thing you wanna do is use your cutter, and that's what this thing is, it's a cutter. They just press and twist. You could probably mimic this with something else you have in the kitchen if you want. There's one piece of bread. Excuse me, let's get the french fries ready. Think of these as french fries, not bread. There is number two. Now I'll put one through the machine so you can see it. And then as you turn here, so what I'm doing is just turning. It's gone now. The one I had put in there, slips in, and you just feel it's like catches at a certain point, and then it starts coming out there, and you have fries, hmm? Let's move them down here. Now the bread is very moist and fresh, 
So now I'll just turn so you can kind of see it as it just grabbed it. It's going in, cut through the wheels, and comes out the bottom. Let me get my tray in here. Now the directions show you folding them over. So let me just get them in here and organize a few. And putting them in your cup. So if I was going to toast these, which I think I'm going to try at some point while we're together here. And then you get them in your french fry holder. So you bend them like this. And you fill up your fry cup. There you go. Like that. And then, I'll just do it over here. You take your salt. Salt them up. And that kind of adds a little color. It. That's what they're looking for is a little color. So they look like french fries. Alright, so that's the first one. So what I'm going to do now, here, is I'm going to take some of these. And I'm going to bend them. And I'm going to give them a quick toasting in the toaster oven. And when you come back, I'll have them toasted for you. And we'll get ready for the next recipe. All right? So they're sticking. We'll be right back. Here's a quick shot in the toaster oven. The toaster was on light, so I folded them over. Uh, the first one's unfolded. So when I bring them back in and show you, we'll uh, see what they look like. All right, so now take a look at these that came out of the toaster oven. Don't those look good? So let me get them in now. So I folded them pre-toaster oven just so that they didn't break. See, now they won't be able to fold too easy, so I'll put those in there. And then actually one of the recipes uh, called for butter, like a butter flavoring. So I think I'm going to use that on these. And look at the size of the holes on that, that butter. Ooh, look at that. Alright, so that's actually recipe number two. It was the Wonder Bread uh, with powdered cheese flavoring. And, uh, but these are toasted, which is not part of the process, but we're just kind of checking it out. So I'm going to try those in a little bit. Let me uh, clean this up, come back, and we'll do one of the other recipes. All right, I am set for another recipe. This one called for, um, I'm doing the uh, Wonder Bread topped with vanilla instant pudding mix. So that's what I have. Let me make a couple here. And then uh, I didn't actually pre-make any fries, so let me do that. I know it's kind of a close shot here. Let me back up a little. I was going to show you a different perspective inside the machine, so I can still do that. Just cut some of my bread so it's ready. Okay. I was going to give you an inside look. I might have to eat one of those other ones. So here it's going out directly in. Now you'll see it as it comes out of the cutters. Okay, and let me do another one. All right, and now the next one, let me just get these in here. You know what, I think I'm going to have to eat one. So I'm going to eat the crispy ones now so that I can use this container here. Here we go. Surprisingly, with the cheese and the crispiness, I think it's kind of a fun snack. Mmm. I'm gonna eat the rest. Don't wanna waste them. Okay. There we go. So let's try this next one here. I'm gonna save these. Now, these I've had before. It's bread with sugar and cinnamon on it. So, if there's something you don't like, again, just. Switch it up with something you do. Instant pudding, though. That one I'm not too sure about. Vanilla instant pudding. Hmm. Well, I really loaded it up this time. Look at that. Hmm. What do you think about that one? Vanilla instant pudding. There's another one that calls for... It says, top with instant spiced cider powder mix. And there's another one that's got top with strawberry jelly, so you can do that too. And there's one that's got Nestle Quick, so I'll probably do that one. I'm just eating powder. I'm wondering though if everything should just be toasted. Here, I'm having a hard time. Let's do it this way. How 
How's that? So now I'll eat the cinnamon ones. Because I can, I think I can go right into the chocolate. I got to get the chocolate, but... So... It's sugar and cinnamon. On bread. Think of like... French toast without eggs, really. And soft, though. It's chewy. Because the bread is really soft. Now I need a whole other pack of fries. Well, I tell you what, I got to clean up. Let me come back and try the chocolate one with what I got there. All right, I'm back. I'm getting some bread ready for the next one. And that was just Nestle chocolate. And I was thinking, out of all the makers so far, this is probably the easiest, uh, easiest one to do. So it seems simple in regards to what you have to do to get the ingredients set. And you got the bread, and you can use jelly. You can use any kind of powder mix that you like. Hey, how'd you fall over? This one, I think the drink maker, the, uh, the fountain are probably the two easiest. So easiest for you to duplicate as well. There, so let me cut some more fries. I think I want to toast these for you. Okay, let me get a bunch organized here. Okay, so what I did the first time was I just folded them like this and then laid them on my toaster and kind of just pinched them just a little. I think I have more than two batches here. There we go. And since it's fresh, soft bread, it sticks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to toast all these, come back and just top a bunch off here. There we go. Alright, back to the toaster oven, so we'll check in there. Okay, here you go. Here's my three uh, next batches of french fries in the toaster oven. Just wanted to show you that, and uh, when we'll come back, they'll be nice and toasty. And then I'll mix up a couple of the recipes we got, but I'll also do just the chocolate ones and give those a taste. Alright, timer went off. Took about. Here we go. Look at that. What do you think? Nice and crispy looking. Would you enjoy those? So you could do this at home too easily if you want to just, uh, you know, create something to cut them or get some help cutting them for you. And then just, you know, bend them in the middle. Let me put one directly into my fry holder here. And remember the one recipe that I haven't done and uh, was just the one that came with the chocolate. So I'll do a chocolate one. And these other two I might just do a little experimenting with. I still have the taste of vanilla one. So we just put chocolate on top. And a lot of the other machines use this uh, powdered chocolate in the cookie mix. And I think even the burgers use something like that. But we'll get to that one. So let's give it a shot. Now that they're all together, it's hard to take out just one or two. Hear how crispy they are? And let me try the vanilla pudding. Interesting. Now these weren't toasted. That one's okay. Probably my least favorite out of all of them. But I think I was going to do is I was going to do vanilla pudding on this one. I have it here off to the side. And then some cinnamon sugar and give that a try. Ooh, that's a lot. Too much. Just want a little. Here, I'll do it this way. Try to sprinkle out just a little. Okay. And then... Cinnamon sugar. Doesn't that go good? Vanilla, cinnamon, and sugar. All right, let's uh, let's take them. Let's put them in this one here. We'll take these out. This will be a nice little presentation, huh? How's that one? And then we still have that last little batch. Uh, well, let me try some chocolate. And vanilla. It's like chocolate and vanilla, right? You can eat that. That's a good mix. There you go. So let me try this one first. It's almost easier just to eat the whole thing. 
Isn't that the best part of a french fry anyway? A lot of times in the bottom of your french fry bag there's a nice crispy fry. Very good. Now when I say very good, that's for what it is. It's not like we're preparing a gourmet meal. It's good because you created it. It's fun to do. It's tasty. It's all stuff that most people like. And if you don't, you know, just switch it with something else that you do. So again, this out of all, out of all the makers is probably the easiest one. But it's still fun. And thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Now, if you want to catch up on all these revisit videos from where we started, and the playlist will be a description where you can also just search our channel. And thanks for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.